Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com and I've got Bing Mobile installed on a bunch of different platforms here, a bunch of different devices, and we're going to take a little comparison of how it differs from platform to platform. You're probably thinking, well, shouldn't, it, shouldn't they all be the same? You might be surprised. Let's check it out. So first up, let's take a look at Windows Phone 7. Here we are with an HD7, and it's got its own little search button. So if I'm on the start page, I go to search, and we got Bing. And we have our picture of the day, and we have little hotspots, you can read about it. And you got your search field with a microphone. Let's see, what should we search for? Egypt. And so there's our search results. It goes to news because it thinks that's what I'm looking for. And you can swipe to get the web and you get a little map and you can go to local and there's no local results. But that's about it. You got three different tabs. Let's try a different search. Uh, sushi. and that should have a local so you get the map there and we got different places so got reviews what's nearby if it loads so there's what's nearby you got reviews about the place you got the phone number the website the hours pretty nice you can share it that's about it for being on Windows Phone 7. Alright, so let's look at Windows Mobile 6.5. Now this, you can see is a bit different. We have the microphone over there, we got the search button, we got the picture, but we have buttons here, and we have menu, and directions. Not only can I get directions, I can navigate. So as I drive, this is going to tell me which way to go, you know, just before I have to turn. It's, it's a full GPS navigation system right there in the Bing. Let's go back to home. We also got traffic maps, of course. Maps, directions, there we are. Favorites. This is something you don't have on Windows Phone 7. You can save favorite searches. And you got movies. This goes straight to a nice list of movies. And you get show times really quickly and easily. So that's Windows Mobile. Windows Mobile 6.5 is very similar except there's no touch screen so you gotta use the little buttons has a menu recent and favorites we also have top news this is a cool little thing so without having to enter any search query terms we can really quickly get to some information like that And this one also has the navigation, which is great. All right, which one's next? How about the Blackberry? Here's the Blackberry Torch with the Bing mobile app. And you can tap it to make the menu go away. And now you get your little hot spots. And we have uh, buttons at the bottom. We got search button at the top. 
Now this is really nice. That's a what's nearby. So right away I can see with two taps what restaurants are close to me. Or what the weather is. You know, I don't have to search it or type it. So that's pretty cool. You also got the news, same thing as what we've seen before. And here's maps, very similar. No multi touch on the Blackberry. Traffic is there, of course. Locate me. And here's an interesting thing Bing has a separate Bing Maps icon in the Blackberry. But it goes to the same program. You also have your Blackberry menu. So let's try a search. Images Angelina Jolie. And we didn't get actually images, but you got an images tab. So that's really cool. Nice way to quickly find images. Now in directions you notice that it does not have the navigation button. It only has directions. And that's about it for the Bing Blackberry app. Next up, Android. Here's the Android Bing app. And we got the search the web, we've got the microphone, similar features here. But I can go back and see different pictures. So that's a pretty cool feature. And we can tap the hotspots to learn more. You can see the interface is different, it doesn't fade the picture out background. And we have a little tray here that comes up where we can get maps, directions, there's news. And you don't get to choose you know which category of news, it's just kind of all in here. Movies. So you get all the movies that are playing and you have to tap one. You don't get a list of theaters. Alright, that's been kind of slow. And you also have images and local search. But here's another cool feature. If I tap that, I get a little menu. So I can choose what I want to search. You know, what type of category. Jessica Alba. So that goes right to some Jessica Alba pictures. So that's pretty cool. Directions, we do not have the voice prompting navigation, it's just regular. It'll tell you which way to go, but it won't tell you while you're driving. You know, it won't speak to you, it'll just list the turns that you have to make. So that's about it for the Android being mobile app. So have some different features there. And here we have Bean Mobile on iOS. So this we have some differences. We got text on the image. We don't have hotspots until you tap it. And there they are. And this is kind of a zoom like media center scrolling thing. So we can choose images. And this brings up a nice little interface. 
we can quickly browse pictures without you know having to do a search let's go back home maps of course oh, did I miss it? maps but yes that's right we have bird's eye view and look at this we are rotating bird's eye view this feature actually was in previous old Windows Live search versions of Windows Mobile of the Windows Mobile app of for live search <laughs> but it made it to the iPhone version local of course we're gonna find local stuff there's some restaurants movies is gonna go straight to a list of movies again And that's pretty quick. Oh, look at this. What's that mean? Add to plan. So that's interesting. You can integrate with Facebook to organize a plan of places that you want to go and share it with your friends. Pretty neat feature, right? There's news. It's just uh, piled in there. Look at all these crazy options. Check in. Oh yeah, that's right. I can check in using Facebook Places, Foursquare, and my Messenger status. All from the Bing app. shop for stuff check out prices here social oh look at that it is integrating with Twitter and Facebook Oh, there's my Twitter stream. That's right, Bane on iOS has a Twitter app in it. And there's weather. Okay, so look what else we have up here. A camera and a microphone. So let's try the camera. Gonna load up. That gives me options here. I can tap to start selecting text, or I can see what this is. That's going straight to uh, Windows 7 software because that's what I took a picture of. You can also use that to scan barcodes, uh, search for book covers, or as you saw, select text. Pretty crazy feature, right? Down here is uh, more options. You got bookmarks, history, settings, private search. And we have a lot of cool options. But that's about it for the iOS Bing app. And uh, that's it for all of my Bing apps on different platforms. So, quite a bit of difference there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you uh, learned about the differences between Bing Mobile on different platforms. And if you, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And that's it for now.